In this Revit video, I'm going to go over how you insert a window into your project. If we look up on the Architecture tab, we have walls, doors, and then windows. On my screen, I just have a simple rectangle of thick exterior walls. It might happen to be the basic wall exterior brick on CMU, although it wouldn't really matter. These could certainly go into interior or generic walls as well. To insert a window, you're just going to go up and click on the Window tool. And when you do that, the um, fixed 36 by 50, no, 48 rather, uh, window type shows up. That's the only one that's loaded into the project by default. Uh, and then all you really have to do is come over and click on the wall. You'll see that um, if I'm hovering uh, either outside or inside the model, I get the No symbol. Uh, that means you're not allowed to click and insert that window. Uh, they can't be freestanding, just like the door. They're a hosted element, and they have to be within a wall to work properly. If I come over to one of my walls, you'll see that um, it starts to give me a preview, and it's actually showing me um, with temporary dimensions where the window is. If I click... Revit basically, uh, you know, cuts away the wall and lets me insert that window. Uh, if I'm happy with those, I can either hit Escape twice or hit Modify to get out of that window command. Once I've put these in here, you'll see that there's a double arrow icon on the window, uh, just like there is um, on a wall. You see that's on the wall. Those are on the exterior side of the wall or window. So right now it might happen to be in backwards, so I could just click that little arrow and flip them out. That's not a big deal. If I had been more careful when I put them in, um, I could have avoided that. Just like the door, you can flip them in or out. Same with the window. Uh, but this works just fine. It doesn't matter. Once I have those in, if I click on one, the temporary dimensions will allow me to uh, move those around just like other objects. So if I clicked on uh, this window, for example, instead of having that six foot six, I could say I'd like that space to be eight feet. And I could do the other window to be the same as well. Remember, when you're moving objects in Revit, you need to click on the object you want to move and then change the temporary dimension, or you're going to start um, shoving your components around in ways that you didn't want. If you would like to bring in a different type of window, um, you, not everything you want to do is going to be the 36 by 48, of course. Uh, if I click on the type selector, you'll see that there are other uh, types of fixed windows, but you might actually want some that open or have a different style to them. So to do that, what we need to do is go to the Architecture tab, and I can go to Window, and then I can go to Load Family in the Contextual uh, tab. You can also go to Insert and Load Family at any time, but this way when I do it, I will have them ready to go. So it's just two different ways to do that. If I click on Load Family, it will bring me to the uh, U.S. Imperial folder. So these are all standard when you load Revit. And then I'll scroll down and go to Windows. In the Windows, you'll see that you have a variety of options here. And you're able to click on any of them and see a preview, an elevation preview, of what those windows look like. And you can either pick one and hit Open, you can hold down control to pick multiples, but leave uh, basically spaces in between so you're not picking you know, each and every one. Or if you hold down shift, you can grab uh, a whole bunch of them at one time. That's really up to you. So I might say, how about a, a casement double with trim? And open. And now I have that window type available to me. And if I hit the drop down, you'll see that it comes in a few different sizes. If I go to put that window in, and then I'll hit Escape to get out of there. You'll see that here's my window, and this is actually a double window. You can see the framework there. And I can flip that one back and forth, um, you know, just as I did before. So that's really the basics of putting a window in. It works essentially the same way as a door. Um, and you're able to go load families and that type of thing to get a variety in your project.